Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good uh, day to everyone. Uh, <coughs> uh, so okay, uh, today we going to proceed our uh, continue lecture. Uh, I think this one is under chapter 2. Eh? So urban uh, transportation, uh, we are focus on public uh, transportation. Eh? Okay, basically in uh, urban uh, area or urban um, uh, regions, we focus more on rail based transport. Eh? So that's why here you see a kind of uh, uh, facilities uh, for rail based transport, such as uh, MRT, eh? which is a mass res rapid transit. So uh, LRT, like rail transit, and PRT. Uh, people mover, people rapid mover eh, or PRT, people rapid transit. Eh? Okay, in terms of the capacity or the operations, eh, the performance of the MRT, uh, we can see the the speed operation of this particular transport is uh, quite high speed, eh? uh, not really high uh, in terms of the high speed, but uh, consider because it's massive, eh? massive rapid transit, uh, more uh, space for coaches or train is considered quite speed, uh, can up to 100 km per hour. So the coach itself having between 4 and 12 coaches per train. Okay, uh, coaches uh, size between uh, the, no, the, the area of space of the coaches, eh? uh, 22 meter by 3.1 meter. Uh, yeah, I think the width uh, some sort like your uh, bedroom size. Eh? Yeah, quite typical one. Not really the bed, big, big, big bedroom size. Quite typical one. Eh? Okay, in terms of the capacity, it can carry up to 80,000 passengers eh, per hour per direction. So sometimes up to 100. Eh? Up to 100. Depend on the size of the coaches eh? or the train. Yeah. Okay, the acceleration acceleration uh, 1.2 meter uh, square and rail uh, is uh, 1435 uh, gauge, gauge so the size of the rail eh, or the track itself eh. okay um, headway uh, typically is assigned for more than uh, two minutes eh. So 120 seconds, consider 2 minutes. So looking at 120 is a big number, but this is in second. Eh? So consider as very, very low or very, very short headway. Uh, compared to others, public transport, like buses, I think more than 15 to 20, 30 minutes. But this one is considered a uh, very low headway eh, in terms of the intervals. Eh? Okay, uh, suitable for radio movement for high density and high plot uh, area, especially on very uh, big city or metropolitan city, eh? like in our Kuala Lumpur city center. Eh? Okay, feeder bus services are required because to transport uh, to uh, park and ride area uh, that uh, can uh, give services eh? uh, people going to take this particular MRT facilities. Eh? Okay, power by supply, 750 volts. And substation to be spacing at 3 to 5 kilometers. Eh? So they have the series of substation or some sort like a terminal you want to going to take this particular station for MRT. Eh? Okay, LRT. Uh, the meaning of LRT is light. MRT is massive. Eh? Okay, light consider uh, less than uh, MRT capacity. Okay, the speed up to 40 km per hour. The coaches of a train between 2 and 6. The capacity can carry up to 40,000 passenger uh, in, uh, per hour in one direction. Uh, the rest is quite similar in terms of the radio, in terms of rail, in terms of headway. Uh, I think the the rest is quite quite uh, uh, similar. Eh? Okay, uh, PRT uh, more uh, small size compared to uh, both. Eh? Uh, 
uh, whether MRT and uh, LRT. Yeah. Uh, like just a uh, tram. Eh? If you can see this particular uh, vehicle or transport is like a tram. Eh? You, if you go to the Europe, uh, there's a lot of the kind of this kind of PRT, eh? which is uh, we can call is like a tram. Eh? So the speed up to 30 km per hour. Uh, coach size is two for uh, two to four per train. The capacity up to one uh, ten thousand, uh, ten thousand passengers. Uh, okay, headway quite small eh? uh, compared to uh, MRT and RT. This one consider less than uh, two minutes. Eh? And suitable for intercity travels. Eh? You just commute into a city area. Eh? Uh, the small size of city area not cross to other uh, sub-city area eh? okay uh, how to calculate or how to uh, evaluate the transit capacity eh? okay, using this uh, particular uh, function or formula so we have cp as passenger capacities so 3600 3, uh, conversion from uh, hour to uh, seconds N is number of train, uh, S is maximum passenger uh, per vehicle. Eh? Okay, in terms of operational design, we can use the particular formula by putting the utilization, utilization factors and load factors. You can see here, eh? if you notice a uh, previous slide, we don't have a uh, factor or constant here. Now we're putting additional. Uh, constant eh? uh, or factors eh? uh, uh, utilization factors and load factors okay uh, important term in capacity eh? transit capacity first we want to know the definition of uh, parameters eh? the first is clearance time eh? what do we mean by uh, clearance time uh, all time losses at a uh, stop other than passenger dwell times Okay, it can be viewed as minimum between on transit vehicle leaving stop and following vehicle enter. So this is the clearance time. Eh? Okay, dwell times, the time transit vehicle is stopped for purposes serving passenger include total passenger serving business door plus time need to open and close the door. Uh, this, this particular uh, time refer when the particular vehicle or train or transit uh, go to the uh, bus stop eh? or at the transit at the bus stop to uh, pick up or to depart or to uh, alighting the passengers eh? okay we calculate that particular time to be dual time but consider uh, busiest door because some vehicle they have prepared two door or they, they provided two door uh, in front and rear side eh? uh, the passenger or rider can uh, use the front door or uh, rear door eh? okay passenger load the load of passenger in a single vehicle that uh, the occupancy of vehicle is typically related to number of seat and load factor uh, seat capacity the number of passenger seat on the transit Standing, the number of standing passenger sit on the vehicle. Some uh, vehicle they allow to use uh, standing uh, option. Eh? You can stand because they have uh, allocate limited uh, seat capacity. Eh? They have uh, only maybe one one coaches uh, size. They allocate for thirty. Eh? Thirty seat. And then they allow about uh, 10 to 12 for standing passenger. Eh? Okay, cross capacity. The number of passengers that can be accommodated on transit vehicles. Maximum load of point section along the transit at route which greatest number of passengers is being carried. Passenger uh, service time. Okay, passenger time is time required passenger for uh, to board or alight from the transits passenger level of service the quality quantity of service offer the passenger within a uh, transit okay 
this quite important uh, point or factor that influence on dual times. Right? The dual time is critical uh, part in terms of the operation for the transits, especially for the bus and also for the um, uh, actually for the bus, eh? because uh, we want to uh, minimize the effect of dual time eh? because we want to uh, make uh, the operation of the bus more efficient eh? or the transit more efficient. Okay, um, passenger demand and loading, that's the first factor. High number of boarding, boarding this mean uh, the passenger come to the vehicle, eh? come to the vehicle, going to uh, inside vehicle or inside the transit eh? boarding they mean eh? alighting passenger alighting coming out from the vehicle eh? okay and the crowded vehicle result in higher dual time this is the, the first factor that effect uh, dual time eh? uh, spacing of the stop the fewer stop alone a route the fewer st the stop alone a route more passenger will be bought at each stop this does increase the dual time. If you provide more stop area along a route, you can create more dual time because such activity um, require or demand uh, a time eh, to do the boarding and lighting activities or process. Eh? Okay, fair payment procedure. Onboard fare collection may increase dual time as passenger need to pay upon entry the vehicle, therefore causing a queue. So nowadays the trend now they don't don't have uh, the method of manual payment uh, is now they prefer to use a uh, smart tag card touch and go or any other uh, uh, electronic uh, payment method is more uh, convenient. Eh? Okay, vehicle type lower. Low floor and wide floor buses can exist in during dual time as they make boarding and lighting more convenient and quicker. Uh, Sometimes uh, the vehicle itself do, doesn't have a similar floor to the stock area. That's why it, it be it be influence uh, the passenger uh, to hop in to the vehicle or going to boarding into vehicle or lighting vehicle what more if they have a uh, luggage or sometimes they carry with uh, wheelchair passenger is more difficult eh? okay on board circulations encouraging passenger to exit back door and entering the front door with elimination congest at the door uh, this is very good uh, practice eh? because they have uh, both uh, a front door and rear door it's better to use a front door for boarding and back door or rear door to uh, lighting or exit. Okay, six wheelchair and bicycle boarding. Uh, the time taken by passenger in wheelchair to board or light and the bicycle, the time bicycle to load and unload their yeah, bicycle may affect the time because some some area uh, I don't I don't know in Malaysia, but in uh, abroad or in many Europe country they allow eh, to passenger bring their vehicle such as a bicycle eh? so they have a uh, extra space or extra uh, room to uh, load this kind of the uh, uh, transport or vehicle eh? bicycle eh? they mean bicycle eh? they give uh, facilities for those who bring bicycle eh? okay let's move to this example a city hall of KL the uh, Madari KL, City Hall KL, intend to provide a transit line to meet a peak hour demand of 12,000 passengers an hour per hour, require a speed between 35 to 40 km per hour. Uh, minimum headway is 120, maximum uh, headway is 240 seconds. A guideway utilization factor and load factor is 0.9. Okay, station platform limit to 10 vehicle uh, vehicle here they mean by coach or train eh? uh, vehicle capacity is uh, 130 passenger eh? okay determine the headway of 10 
train uh, 10 vehicle per train eh? 10 vehicle per train okay uh, we want to know the idea of practical headway eh? to be calculated eh? okay by using this uh, previous uh, formula uh, i have uh, shown before okay uh, we have a capacity from the question is 12000 uh, and utilization factor is 0 0.6 and load factor is 0 0.9 and the number of the vehicle yet we don't know and uh, 130 uh, by this is number of the uh, passenger eh? 130 are number of passenger okay uh, by headway so we have this function eh? so because we want to determine uh, the headway uh, value eh? uh, up to 10 vehicle eh, per train so we know the uh, number of vehicle because they given 10 so what but we don't know the headway the headway operation for the uh, 10 vehicles eh? so we try and error we begin with number of 10 1 2 until 10 so using this particular formula so we just insert the value of the train eh? then we can determine the headway so simple like that eh? okay, then we insert the value okay then we have the range eh? now the the lowest train uh, provide 21 uh, second okay uh, up to 10 vehicle uh, 210 uh, second eh? so we know that the range of a uh, minimum to be 120 and maximum 200 240 uh, second for uh, the headway eh? so looking at this particular uh, numbers so it is possible to select eh, this range eh, to provide uh, numbers of vehicles eh? so between 6 and 10 so in this particular uh, question uh, the headway of the 10 vehicle to be this one uh, 210 but the number to be provided eh, to this facility can be 6 to 10 vehicles uh, to be like that lah. okay uh, anyone uh, you have any questions Okay, no worry. Eh? You can still uh, start with any number do you like. But uh, yeah, I want to show uh, you can start with the minimum size of the train. But it's not possible. Uh, it's not 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 quite practical to provide one one vehicle per train because typically LRT provide more than one and eh? more than one vehicles in terms of the uh, coaches. Eh? Okay, next we move to. Uh, Yes, any question from the student? Okay, I proceed. Okay, uh, bus service. Okay, bus service capacity is quite typical, small compared to the uh, rail base. Okay, 12, 200, 240. Okay, uh, 240, I think this is considered articulated bus, eh? not just single bus like this, eh? but consider. Uh, articulated bus which is bus can be joined eh? bus can be joined bus eh? so they have uh, additional coaches lah, additional vehicle eh? uh, with uh, double triple like that lah. okay flexible expansion extension to be intrinsically this mean by expansion eh? we can uh, double or triple their uh, coaches eh? or their vehicles eh? Okay, transit system using buses are capable of carrying uh, 2,400 to 15,000 passenger per hour per direction. It means we can repeat and repeat to make their route or schedule eh, uh, to be uh, able to serve until or up to 15,000 eh, passengers eh, in terms of capacity. Volume up to 30,000 passenger per direction can be achieved with a special bus lane, offline, uh, station and multiple boarding. 
uh, especially when we facilitate uh, the infra eh? especially we provide the busway or BRT eh? bus rapid transit uh, is much more offer the capacity eh? Okay, bus travel pattern, a radial service, suburban to CBD, central business district, eh? shuttle bus, a uh, rain road, serve to lean, link up various sub, sub centers, stages bus, local travel service, mini bus, a uh, special travel in CBD, uh, example to tourism activities, or chartered bus, eh? uh, travel service between activity to the center, shuttle of mini bus, so this kind of the service bus they have eh? okay this one what i mean by uh, articulated bus eh? they join the bus eh? so this means this capacity of the bus increase eh? okay uh, example of bus service guideline uh, service pattern eh? major activities centers such as office building school and hospital eh? We provide 300 meter coverage where population density over 30 serve at least 90% uh, of residents. Uh, space route about 0 0.5 km in urban area and 1.5 in suburban area. Okay, service level, service period between uh, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eh? But now <laughs> the situation is uh, different. We have facing the pandemic COVID-19. So the operation of the bus, they put a lesser time. Eh? I think during four hours only eh? to serve the public. For headway, uh, peak, bit, uh, peak uh, five minutes. Uh, during the normal one is 15 minutes. Okay, bus stop uh, to city at the city center area. Consider five to seven bus stop per kilometer. But in suburban area, so they have uh, uh, quite lesser eh? because the demand uh, is not higher compared to city center. That's why they only have one, two, three bus stop within a kilometer. Okay, passenger comfort. Okay, passenger shelter, road and design, this destination signs, driver custody. Okay, this is the complement eh, to be offered to the uh, passenger itself. Eh? Okay, this the uh, terminal area or the uh, what we call eh? uh, bath berth or bath loading area uh, going out, going going uh, in, going out, ingress or egress area. Eh? So, bus waiting area. Okay, uh, this is the typical one. Eh? Okay, this is the physical. You can see one. Eh? how they park the vehicle at the loading area uh, to uh, pick up or to board, board boarding the passenger eh? okay this is the picture how we design uh, bus priority lanes so they assign very uh, special lane for bus to be used at the particular intersection uh, to uh, reduce or uh, uh, um, provide much uh, travel time eh, to uh, reduce the delay eh, operation for the bus eh. okay this typical bus lane well provided but this one they use for taxi as well but this one i think for bus lane uh, special bus lane okay uh, bus operation design eh. uh, how we're going to uh, calculate or de determine the bus operation design eh. so we have a particular uh, very simple formula to know the frequency or demand of the bus itself. Eh? Okay, now we move to this particular example. Uh, a bus service is planned between Bangi and Putrajaya, a distance of 20 kilometers. Eh? Okay, this is the plan to provide bus services. Eh? The operating uh, time is 45 minutes. Estimated demand is 500 passenger per hour. So serve 45 seater, uh, which accommodate 20 standee. So they allow eh, up to 20 standee. Okay, minimum, maximum headway is 30 minutes. Uh, you see in the comparison between uh, rail uh, headway compared to the bus. Eh? Bus maximum can be 20 minutes, eh? quite long. Eh? Uh, the minimum terminal is 5 minutes. Eh? 
basic design and uh, design the basic and determine the fleet size. So we're going to know uh, what kind of the system and the size going to be offered to provide this particular uh, bus services. Eh? Okay, uh, uh, using this simple uh, formula, okay, uh, we have to calculate the operating speed. Eh? So to calculate operating speed, we start with B, B which is uh, speed. Eh? Speed, okay, uh, 60 by conversion. So L is uh, considered, uh, this one is the, uh, see this, the 20, uh, no, the 20 kilometer distance eh, uh, from Bangi to Putrajaya. Eh. Okay, uh, divided by 45 minutes. So the 60 conversion to be hour. So the length is 20 kilometer divided by 45 and uh, multiply by 60 uh, to convert the uh, uh, unit eh, to be uh, kilometer per hour. So we obtain 26.7. Okay, next to calculate headway. So we know the passenger size, uh, 45 plus 20 standee. Okay, uh, is to be to provide at uh, 500 capacity so now we can determine uh, the minimum minimum mi minimum headway which is 7.8 we can use 7.5 uh, as a minimum uh, headway to be provided okay next uh, cycle time eh? so t equal to uh, 2 uh, we have 45 at the operation 45 plus 5 minutes eh, from the terminal so we can consider 45 uh, okay uh, two trips two is uh, 100 100 minutes eh? uh, 45 plus 5 or 50 multiply by 200 eh, because uh, two trip okay consider two okay the fit size and uh, now we want to determine the fit size eh? Okay, we have here n equal to t uh, divided by h. So t is uh, cycle time. We have 100. And headway is 7.5. Now we obtain 14 vehicles. Eh? So we should provide at least 14 vehicles. Eh? That means 14 buses. Right? 14 buses to these particular locations in terms of the uh, operation. Eh? Uh, because we have a uh, uh, quite long distance 20 minutes the operation 45 minutes so if you're using the single uh, bus you cannot accommodate or cannot uh, supply uh, this demand eh? you cannot meet this demand eh? that's why we need up to for 14 vehicles eh? that's mean 14 buses eh? Uh, if you can use articulated bus, uh, it might reduce as seven vehicles. Eh? Okay. Uh, also, we can revise the cycle time. Okay, uh, because we know um, the operational of the uh, size is fourteen, so we can multiply the cycle time and revise the cycle time of uh, fourteen uh, by seven point five. Multiply is hundred and five. So reverse the terminal, okay, T minus two travel times, which is two three, eh? uh, uh, going and returns, okay, multiply by two. Then we also remain uh, the re the terminal time is seven point five minute. Eh? Okay, that's how we calculate eh? uh, to design number of fleet and also the uh, headway headway time eh? for this particular. A demand uh, for that particular area eh? okay uh, we know that commercial speed of this particular vehicle uh, for the bus actually eh? okay uh, so we can uh, use this uh, uh, formula uh, 20 uh, divided by 105 this this conversions and by 2 because of 2 eh? 2 trips eh? 2 trips so uh, we obtain the operational or commercial speed at 23 km per hour. Sir. So if the bus going fast, 
is much better eh, because not really fast eh, uh, but this quite acceptable to maintain the services eh, for this particular area could be they have uh, several bus stop over there eh. i don't know whether they have multiple bus stop or not but this the the situation eh, where we can design and determine eh. okay you have any question on this uh, particular example or solution Okay, let's move to this uh, another example. Eh? Okay, this is the calculation uh, of operational bus, especially on dual time and the critical bus stop area, which we want to focus on about uh, the operational for the particular uh, bus stop to be considered eh, as the critical one. Eh? Okay, just read the example. A bus agency has estimated the number of boarding and alighting passengers for a purpose new route that has five stop reaching bus stop eh, to be those given in the table one here buses supply the route will have seat 42 and eh, and standing we will allow uh, the following assumption are made okay passenger boarding using front door as the fare collected there and the uh, alight and uh, going out eh? a light using front and back door that allowed to use both door eh? okay boarding time is three seconds the time taken for each passenger eh, to going uh going uh to the bus eh? boarding is mean from the outside to get to go to inside the bus eh? so boarding boarding time is three seconds per passenger and lighting going out from the bus eh? a lighting time is two seconds per passenger if a uh, standing are present, boarding time is 3.5 seconds. It gives a extra time because uh, there is a standing one. Eh? When you going, you boarding, uh, you going uh, to uh, the the bus, you are blocked by someone standing. Eh? Uh, that, that's taken time uh, up to extra 0.5 seconds. Eh? Okay, taken time for door open and stop. Eh? Uh, for a second, eh? uh, you have to wait uh, the door open and then after that the door close eh? because the door is not suddenly open like that eh? because they taken the time to open and the close. Eh? Uh, so we consider this particular uh, specific uh, activity time. Eh? Okay, these are the data collection from uh, bus stop 1 until bus stop 5. Okay, there's a series of uh, different activities in terms of boarding and alighting passengers. At the bus stop 1, we have 33 on the because this is starting and there, there is no yet passenger going out from the bus, but they are going in the bus. Eh? They boarding into the bus, 33 percent, uh, 33 passenger. Then at the bus stop 2, they have another extra uh, new passenger but some of 33 here going out and then at bus stop 3 they have extra 18 passenger but from total here they going out 22 at the bus stop 4 they have extra four, uh, 10 passenger but 16 going out or lighting eh? uh, at the last bus stop no more passenger but all passenger are going out or alighting eh? okay you understand the situation now eh? okay calculate the dual times and determine the most critical bus stop so this operation is quite simple there is no specific formula eh? but you have to understand the process or the procedure eh? just a procedure first you have to capture here the what we call eh? I want to try to highlight if I can. Okay, I want to use what? Eh? Uh, highlighter. Eh? Okay, here, try to understand here we have 5 by bus stop, 42 seat capacity but loud standing. Eh? So loud standing. Okay, they have a front door and back door. Eh? Back door. Okay, boarding time. Three seconds. You have to uh, clear this one. Eh? 
alighting to second. Uh, standing are allowed and they taken about boring time they taken about 3.5 second extra and open and close door for second eh? open and close door so please uh, capture this uh, what we call uh, uh, the point eh? the, the, the important scenario okay let move to the solution eh? okay first uh, try to what, eh? uh, rewrite eh? the data we have here uh, from here eh? we just copy okay let's move to the next procedure total passenger in bus including standee eh? okay at the first bus stop okay total passenger 33 eh? okay at the second bus stop they have 20 but 5 are alighting so you get 48 how huh? 33 plus 20 okay i try to use a pointer eh, if i can uh, pen okay this one plus eh, plus but this one to be minus eh? minus eh? okay now you you remain 48 uh, 33 plus 20 53 subtract 5 you remain 48 but within 48 you have 6 are standing eh? 48 you have a standing eh? okay and then uh, because the capacity of the I just moved to previous slide eh? uh previous slide okay have your capacity here eh? 42 seat eh? so that is why here you have six are standing because now we have 48 only 42 got the seated eh? okay uh and then uh six are standing eh? okay next uh 18 eh? so this one plus okay this one did that eh? okay you obtain 44 you obtain 44 eh? okay we know the seated is 42 so we have to stand the eh? okay next this one plus this one after that did that Okay, we remain now 38 44 plus 10 54 minus uh, 16 we remain 38 no more standing here eh? okay at the particular uh, uh, bus stop number 5 there no there is no additional passenger uh, boarding eh? okay all the total now is lighting so we have zero here remain zero eh? okay no more to do that eh? okay i think you understand eh, the procedure eh? okay next okay here boarding time eh? boarding time okay 33 multiplied by 3 if you refer the last slide previous slide eh? previous eh? oh, okay this one eh? Uh, boarding time is 3 seconds alighting time is 2 seconds standing is 3.5 okay 33 passenger multiply by 3 seconds 99 okay this one 20 multiply by 3.5 because they have a standee here they have a standee here okay this one 18 Multiply by 3.5 because they have a 2 here, standing. That's why we take 3.5. This one, 10. 
we cannot deploy, uh, multiply by 3.5 because no more standing here. So we obtain just 10 multiplied by 3. So we obtain the boarding time. Eh? Okay, alighting time. Okay, alighting time at the first station or bus stop, no, no more. For the second bus stop, we have 5. So multiply by 2 because alighting time is 2 second. Okay, at the uh, third bus stop, we have 22 multiplied by 2. At the fourth bus stop, we have 16 multiplied by 2. And the last bus stop, we have 38 multiplied by 2. So we obtain uh, boarding time and alighting time. So next, door opening and closing. Eh? So we have similar time for operation opening and closing the door in, uh, for any uh, bus stop. Eh? Okay, next, dual time. Dual time is what? Uh, the busiest door operation plus the door opening and closing time. Remember, eh? dual time refer to the busiest door uh, open and plus open and closing time. Okay, if you look, look in that in this particular uh, column, so there is no uh, alighting time. That's why we uh, take directly here plus four. Eh? So we obtain this one. Okay, next we have uh, 70 for boarding, 10 for alighting. So we taken only this one plus 4, we got 74. Okay, this one, okay, we have 63, 44. Okay, still we have 63 plus 4, so, uh, 67. Okay, this one quite differ, eh? We cannot take this one because the value bigger is here. So this one plus 4. So we obtain 36. The last one we don't have here. So directly we take here. Okay, plus. Okay, we got 80. Okay, now we determine already the dual time. The question asking to determine dual time. So next, what to determine? The critical bus stop, which from the, this five bus stop to be critical, so we look at, at the particular uh, numbers. Eh? So here, of course, the critical is bus stop one. So now we de we can determine the number of dual time for this every bus stop uh, operation. And the critical bus stop, consider bus stop number one. The dual time up to 103 seconds. So this this how we uh, solve this uh, uh, particular problem. Eh? Okay, I think that's all for this particular uh, question. Uh,